President Donald Trump kicked off Thanksgiving Day by replying to a tweet that said his latest Twitter feud is part of a racist pattern of attacking prominent African Americans. Trump's response, tweeted at about 6.30 a.m., Make America Great Again tweet that prompted the response from The President came from Greg Sargent, who writes about politics for The Washington Post. Sargent had shared his opinion article about Trump's latest tweet storm related to LeVar Ball, whom the President has repeatedly called out for not thanking him properly for his role in resolving a shoplifting charge in China against Ball's son. In his piece published Wednesday, Sargent argued that Trump goes out of his way to attack prominent African Americans, including Ball and professional football athletes. Trump's ragged tweets about LeVar Ball are part of a pattern. Trump regularly attacks high-profile African Americans to feed his supporters' belief that the system is rigged for minorities, Sargent wrote on Twitter Wednesday, to which the president responded the following day with his campaign slogan. It's unclear if Trump's tweet was meant to agree with or acknowledge Sargent's points that his behavior on social media fits a racist pattern against African Americans. The White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The president has spent the last few days engaging in a war of words with Ball, who has accused Trump of inflating his role in freeing his son, UCLA basketball player Leangelo Ball, and two other teammates. The three were arrested for shoplifting while in Hangzhou for a tournament earlier this Month, Trump said that during his 12-day trip to Asia, he personally asked Chinese President Xi Jinping to help resolve the case of Leangelo Ball and his two teammates. After returning to the United States, Trump wrote on Twitter, referring to himself in the third person, do you think the three UCLA basketball players will say thank you to President Trump? They were headed for 10 years in jail asked by ESPN later about Trump's role. In securing his son's release, LeVar Ball said who? What was he over there for? Don't tell me nothing. Everybody wants to make it seem like he helped me out. During a testy interview with CNN's Chris Cuomo Monday night, Ball again questioned Trump's role. In his son's freeing, it wasnt like he was in the U.S. and said, OK, there's three kids in China, I need to go over there and get them, Ball said, that wasnt the thought process. In response, the president fumed, often in the form of pre-dawn tweet storms. At one point, he said he should have let Leangelo Ball and his teammates stay in jail. At about 5.30 a.m. Wednesday, Trump called LeVar Ball an ungrateful fool, who, if not for his personal intervention, would have spent several Thanksgivings with his son locked up in China. It wasnt the White House, it wasnt the State Department, it wasnt Father Lavar's so-called people on the ground in China that got his son out of a long-term prison sentence it was me. Too bad Lavar is just a poor man's version of Don King, but without the hair, Trump said. Curiously, the president resurrected attacks on the NFL a few minutes later the NFL is now thinking about. A new idea keeping teams in the locker room during the national anthem next season. That's almost as bad as kneeling. When will the highly paid commissioner finally get tough? And smart. This issue is killing your league. Sargent wrote that the immediate segue to football players, whom Trump has repeatedly criticized for kneeling during the national anthem, shows a clear pattern of a public attack on prominent African Americans. It is true that in some of these cases, Trump was attacked or at least criticized first. But it's hard to avoid noticing a gratuitously ugly pattern in Trump's responses, in which Trump vaguely suggests either that his targets are getting above their station, or that they're asking for too much and are insufficiently thankful for all that has been done for them, Sargent wrote. The president has repeatedly said that kneeling during the national anthem, meant to protest racism and police brutality is disrespectful to the flag and to the country. Last month, Trump drew criticisms over his condolence call to the widow of Sergeant Le David Johnson, who was killed with three other soldiers during an ambush in Niger. Maisha Johnson said that, during the call, the president told her that her husband knew what he signed up 
4. She also said that Trump couldn't even remember her husband's name. Trump disputed the slain soldier's widow's account, saying in a tweet I had a very respectful conversation with the widow of Sergeant LaDavid Johnson, and spoke his name from beginning, without hesitation.